Operation Manai Bridge. It's a code for the king's funeral that we know about now, so it's not so secret anymore. Uh, is the palace planning things? Do we know what his health is really like? I hope that it um, it's just in the very, very distant future that they will have to put this plan into place. You're talking about after the king passes away, yeah. there is a plan in place, you know, for his funeral. Essentially, it's just some good funeral planning. But tabloids want you to think it's moments the away. The is near. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's that's just tabloid gossip at this point because we don't have any actual evidence. And, you know, here on the adventures of Blinded by the Item, uh, we only deal in cold, facts. hard facts. <laughs> yeah, we do. But we do click on things and we kind of read between the lines and that's what blind course, items are for but of course and yes. i'm sure that there have been blind items about the royal family and will continue to be even after uh king charles has long since left are you Whoa. okay over there i just adjusted my chair oh god all right you guys want to do some blind Let's items yeah it. Only factual blind items Only. today. I need extra reporting. <laughs> All right, let's get it started with this. The A-lister who is joining an iconic show is now working hard to clean up the mess he made when he tried to fire a legend. Mm. An A-lister who's joining an iconic show is now working hard to try oh. to clean up the mess he made when he tried to fire a legend. Probably Ryan Seacrest mm -hmm. trying to fire you got Diana it. White. Yes, yeah, that's there you not go. Cool. Come on, man. Flip over the uh, the letter Come there on, on that one and uh, find the answer is Vanna White, uh, according to the blind items. I love that Vanna. She's great. Yeah. Ryan Seacrest maybe uh, ruffled some feathers with the people who were uh, behind the scenes there for uh, Wheel of Fortune, as it sounds mm. like. And we heard in the blinds that he may have been trying to uh, usher in a new era of the show, including getting rid of Vanna. But although, now that a new contract was reached, maybe he's trying to mend the fences a little bit. Yeah, also, I think that kind of worked out for her in the end. Like, the, the leaking of this story publicly had to have helped in her negotiations, right? For sure. Oh, I hope that she did it herself. That would be great, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> hey, look at what's going on over here at Real Fortune. It's me. It's me. Yeah, no, I just think that um, the fact that all of the press... Everybody made uh, or felt bad for her in a way and ginned up a lot of public support. And I just feel like that probably helped when she was in that negotiating room. And it's only for, I think she only has a contract for a couple more years or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if I understand it correctly, this will be his first year. So this next year but will she be gets like... to go out on her terms. Exactly. So it's going to be like, oh, it's Ryan's first year. Then the year after, it's going to be Vanna's farewell year yeah and then we'll go forward from and then there that like, is when i will be planning a new game show with vanna as the host Ooh, no, I, was no. smart. I like it what are you gonna do um it's gonna be all about um guess who the douchebag is in hollywood Ooh. it'll be like <laughs> you will open up suitcases they take you to an island all right megan markle i mean yeah i i have to workshop that a little more you got time. You got time. Okay. Is it just going to be like their picture? So a picture of Scott Disick, or is he actually going to be in the briefcase? When you <laughs> That'd be it? kind I'm of confused. awesome. His yeah. head is actually in the oh. suitcase. Yeah. It's just oh, out of frame. The body yeah. is. Oh, got out it. Of frame. Sure. Okay. Yeah. okay. We're yeah. workshopping. Hey, there's no bad Practical ideas. Practical effects, kids. In a brainstorming session. <laughs> we all know this. Yeah. All right. Let's do another one here. We're rolling through the blind items today. You got that first one. Nice, quick, and easy. This one, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, this former cable talk show host might be looking for yet another platform. Apparently, he and the guy guy who's in charge at his current place don't get along anymore and we have all seen how that story ends hmm. so a former cable talk show host might be looking for yet another platform apparently he and the guy who's in charge at his current place don't get along anymore and we've all seen how that story ends the only name that comes to my mind is don lemon but i think that's already soured with x so uh john stewart Conan O'Brien. I will just say, don't get too far away from Bradley's guess. Oh, Don Lemon. Um, so it's like cable news. Gary Orange. Who's Gary Orange? Well, Don Lemon's friend. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, literally like, who's Gary Orange? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I don't watch enough cable know. news. Um, What's the other half of that? And by the way, it's former cable talk show hosts. Oh. What's the other uh, half Anderson of the Don Cooper? Lemon? No, the other half of the Don Lemon story. Oh, Elon. But another platform. What? So uh, Elon is the platform. Okay. There's a host. Oh, is oh. 
I don't understand what's going on right now. Well, the blind item suggested that uh, the K- X cable news guy mm-hmm. is not happy with the platform. The let platform me, is let me, X. let me fill it in with what we have so far. This former cable talk show host might be looking for yet another platform. Apparently, he and Elon are no longer getting along. So, mm-hmm. uh, and we know how that normally goes on X. Oh, That's sure. Then it's got to be like Scooter. Or what's his name? Uh, Casper. Oh, you're, you're. oh, what is his name, Casper. Don? Come on now. It's the one he's got really strong. He, yeah, it's the one. This is a the tough one. subject for me because I don't watch cable news. So I, yeah, this I don't is, either. I, you but know I will his name, say though. his, you would know, you know this guy, and I just can't think of his damn name. Okay. Um, is he a newsman, newsy type guy? Uh, well, depends on what you consider news. Uh, former cable oh. talk show host. He left in a huff, or no, he was fired from Fox News. News. I don't know. Travis? No, what is it? It's like, oh my God, this is so going to drive me nuts now. Um, We're talking about, he had the most popular. And right now still getting a lot of views over on X. Evening show. Oh gosh. And his, at night when you hop a, into at night when you hop in bed, you just want to grab the covers and get all cuddly. No, you want to pull them up and make sure you're Warm, tight. tight. Tucker Carlson. Tuck. Tucker yeah, Carlson Tucker. is the uh, correct oh. answer for this one. Uh, according to the blind item, uh, Tucker Carlson might be looking for yet another platform as uh, apparently he and Elon are no longer on the same page, no longer seeing things uh, the same way. And we all know how that usually goes on X, of course, with the Don Lemon story you already referenced. So okay. we'll see if a new platform might be needed for one. So it isn't the first guy wasn't Don Lemon? It was Tucker Carlson? Tucker Carlson, yeah. Tucker oh, Carlson but they both had the... a similar, they both went to X after they left or were fired from their jobs. Yeah. And, and Tucker so... got one tweet out until he was fired because wow. well, they Don. did one interview or sorry Don they yeah. did one interview oh. and it was with Elon yeah. and Elon did not like how he was being pressed for questions and thus Don Lemon found a new place to go a lot of people who have not done so well in traditional cable news have tried to then or traditional media I guess is a better way to put that have then tried to you know been wooed over to X but again Elon I don't think is that interested in a very vibrant media experience because evidenced by his interview with Don Lemon, he didn't want to answer any actual questions, which I think is kind of, you know, antithetical to having a media company. Yeah, definitely. He's arrogant. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to not answer that. I'm going to go smoke a bowl over here and you're going to accept it. Your views don't follow my views. Well, then you can't be on my platform anymore. Bye. (laughs) There you go. So uh, there you go. You guys got that one nicely done. That's the closest we'll ever tiptoe to politics on this show. Um, But uh, again, we'll move on to the next one here. It's starting to feel like the relationship between this A-list actor and the much lower on the list model slash celebrity is really just him trying to uh, get the family to finance a new project. Oh, okay. Starting to feel like the relationship between this A-list actor and the much lower on the list model slash celebrity is really just to get him to uh, get the family to help him finance a new project. When you say family, do you mean the family of the model? Yep. Okay. So have we talked about that? Not really. Not the, I mean, we we know of this relationship, but it's not relationship. Leo, is it? Nope. Uh, Bradley Cooper? And the Hadids. Oh, according to the blind items, it sounds like it's starting to maybe feel like this whole relationship between Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid might be Bradley's attempt to secure some financing for upcoming projects from the Hadid yeah. family. I don't know. Oh, okay. the blind item. I wonder. I, I always wonder, like, how much money do they have? Whereas I don't. I don't really know them out of just injury individually being models and i think she was married to david foster right um yolanda hadid 
Yeah, I I don't know what they where they get their money from, but obviously either. they've got tons of it because otherwise uh, Bradley Cooper wouldn't be yeah. barking up that tree. Mohammed Anwar Hadid is uh, her father, and he is a real estate developer and oh, also oh. is known for he's built luxury hotels and mansions, majorly, majorly oh, in the Bel Air neighborhood of L.A. I see, it's that so one doing pretty good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. doesn't have anything to do with Yolanda. Okay. Nope. So there you go. That's perhaps uh, what that reference or what that blind item is referencing. Okay. Good luck to him. Let's do another one. It's the money he deserves. Yes. <laughs> Let's do another one. And this one's a fun one because this is actually a celebrity Versus giving. What the other ones that weren't fun? I love. Let the me other say one. this is a different one. This okay. is from an actual celebrity giving us this blind item. What? So what is, this is, and you may know that the Office ladies have a podcast. Yeah. And of course, it is uh, co-stars from The Office, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. And uh, they were doing the little podcast and Angela dropped a, a little blind item for us. She so did. of course, if you're, if you're watching The Office, this is Angela and yeah. uh, Pam. Those are the two characters they played. But I'm going to read you what Angela said and we're going to see if we can figure out the blind item or at least what uh, most of the Internet thinks this blind item is in reference to. Fabulous. Right. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So this is Angela speaking. So we're in line, I think, for food or something. And we were at like this party and there was food there. And then there in front of us was this couple and they're famous. You guys all know this couple. And she was being very nice and asking me about how things are. Mm. And I started telling a story about my baby because that's all I wanted to talk about at that time was my cute, adorable baby girl. Okay. Mm. Her husband then who wasn't really making eye contact with me, like kind of looking around almost over me, trying to see if there's someone cooler to talk to, oh. said, you know what I like to do when I can't fall asleep? And I said, well, what's that? And he said, I call my lawyer who's just had a baby and I'll say, tell me all about your baby. What? Rude. And then he walked away. Oh my what a God. jerk. What is so <laughs> that is a, an interaction that Angela Kinsey from The Office, the actress who plays her, had at an actual party. And oh. uh, let's see if we can figure out this blind I item. I love that she dropped it because that means she wants us to solve it. <laughs> yes. Which means she wants to call this person I out. I love it. Yes. All right. So we have co star, uh, the office ladies. Yep. So that's and so. we have a couple that they were chatting with. So this is a couple that Angela was chatting with. Now yeah. we, we know that it was a cl couple that everybody knows. And at one point, uh, she turns around and uh, the female part of this uh, couple, yeah. it's a male and a female, and uh, she starts asking about her cute, adorable baby. And then the husband decides to be a complete jerk. We don't have any identifying characteristics about said couple. Um, she famous. didn't give us any of those. I'll say um, he, she's slightly higher on the list, but they're, uh, it's like an A-list actress and a B-plus list actor. Okay. It's not who I was thinking of. Then. Oh, who are you going with? Well, I was thinking of Hugh Grant just because he's assy. No, nope, that's a really good, like that. that's a good assy guess. He's because like, he, he would assy. say something flippant oh, sure. like that and just yeah. not very caring. And not care. You know what I like not to very do? very carry. You know what I like to do when I can't fall asleep? I just yeah. call my lawyer who's just had a baby and I say, tell me about your baby. <laughs> so rude. It is. It's so it's rude. Kind of, rude. It's also kind God. of funny. Um, in a very rude way. Funny in a very rude way. Yes. Um, okay. So again, we're talking about uh, a party. There was She's a couple. She's a little bigger on the list. She's higher on the list. This is a celebrity couple. Tom Hanks? No, he's higher. Oh, uh, it'd be kind of hilarious if Tom Hanks was like, I don't want to hear about your oh, baby. God. Don't you wish he would have said, like, you know what I do? I put on one of your movies. There you go. That's smart. Um, Good comeback. Let's see. I always think it comebacks after I leave a place. Yeah, and I, know. I don't. And then you want to, like, Hey, send them but then come I would never here. say it anyway. Like, here's what I was gonna say yeah. back then. And then I tell all my friends what I was gonna say. Yeah, and they're like, well, you didn't. Yeah, so why are you here? But you have a show, why so you, you could literally just tell it on the show. <laughs> That's true. Um, why are you here? Is it Matthew McConaughey? No, you and just said, like, why are you here? Oh. <laughs> and I was just repeating what you just said. <laughs> Camila Alvarez. <clears throat> Let's so see. maybe figure out what they do. Or okay, maybe so what are they actors? They're both actors. Okay, if it's attached, she's to higher on the list. Is okay, she... is it Emily Blunt and John Krasinski? Uh, okay. No, it has nothing to do with the Office cast. Okay. Is she? They just happen to be talking about it on the Office podcast. The are Office either ladies. of them in a franchise? Um, yes. He, she is in a franchise. Ooh, is it one a of the soupy, biggest franchise? A soupy cheese uh, nope. franchise. Oh. Is it like Sarah Jessica Parker? Nope. And is Matthew it a Broderick? reality show franchise? Nope. Okay, so it's not a housewife. Nope. 
It's not a housewife. I think this is actually, I mean, it's for its genre. This is the biggest franchise in said genre. Star Wars? Is it a sci-fi franchise? Horror. So it's, is it Vin Diesel and his goodly wife, who I don't know? It for its genre. Let's see. What are some genres? Genres. <laughs> Uh, I had a friend who used to did. call them Ganeers, and I was like, Ganeers. I don't think that's how you pronounce oh, that word. Oh, genres. Um, Ganeers. Okay, so is it like a thriller? Is it one of them fast car movies? Kevin Costner. Okay. Oh, yeah, Cowboys? Ooh. Romance? Porn, Dan. Porn! Oh. What else is there? Romance? A biopic. <laughs> uh, sports. This is one way to get to it. Uh, is it fantasy? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, like Game of Thrones? No. Okay. Fantasy. Fantasy Island. It's a, Ricardo um, Montalban. It's a. It's also a style of film. Oh. Oh. A style. <laughs> a non, yeah, a different style. Film, of film. noir. No. Cinema verite. Crime. True crime. Oh. oh. I like that. It's a fantasy. It's, it's a fantasy, fantasy, baby. A specific company. Mariah Carey. A specific Wet company has kind of dominated this particular genre. Wait, say that again? I said a particular company has kind of dominated this genre for oh, like 60 years. Oh, it's an years. animated film. The biggest animated franchise Pixar, arguably ever. Disney. Disney. Tom. Say it again. Hanks. <laughs> Not Tom Hanks. Um, Tim Allen. If you don't get this, you're uh, never going to let it go. Oh, it's Frozen. And it's Dax Shepard and um, wow. Cutie Pie. Yes! That is not Cutie He's Pie? just joking around. Oh, all right. He's this such is a jokester. This is not Kristen Bell. Kristen well, Bell. she was not implying it was uh, a joke, apparently. And let's just say this is not the first blind item we've had talking about Dax Shepard being a real Dax Piece Shepard. Yeah. Um, mm. According to the blind item, though, that Angela Kinsey of The Office gave us, it sounds like at a party, they were uh, waiting in line, her and I believe her uh, husband, and she had a baby. And then this woman behind her turns around, and that was Kristen Bell, and starts talking to her about the baby. Dax Shepard then turns around and says, you know what I like to do when I can't fall asleep? Call my lawyer who just had a baby, and I say, tell me all about your baby. Mm -mm. No. There you go. Yeah, tell your lawyer to get a hold of your PR person for some damage control. <laughs> exactly. And I'm going to release this because... on my less successful podcast. And also don't do it <laughs> with ladies who are going to talk it yeah. out I wonder on a podcast. If, yeah. On a podcast! I wonder if Kristen Bell was like, hey. Don't do that. Don't be assy. Yeah. Well, it's this is also the family that brought us. Uh, like, I, I can see... Here's what I will admit. I think I could see wherein he thought he was being funny. Yeah. And wasn't. Because you know that that rule, and a good friend of mine taught me this rule once. Like, was it me? No. Oh. I'm sorry. You've taught me many other lessons, Dawn, Whoa. Uh, in life. But this particular lesson was, if no one's laughing, it's not funny. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you don't know until you tell it. And then you're like, uh-oh, no one's laughing. And then you go, cha-cha-cha, right out of the room. Yeah. And you say, just joking. Tell me you all end about up on, your baby. I love your baby. Then you end up looking like a douche on a podcast yeah. about blind items. Oh, my yeah. God. This is true. Let's do another one here as we're going through the blind I'm items. I'm not saying you guys got that one. Oh, I thought I'm you saying... meant me. Oh, <laughs> no, my God. What? <laughs> all right. I'm let's talking about Dax Shepard <laughs> noodle oh pie. God. Well, let's do another blind item here. You thought I was talking about you. Yeah. Because like then you like end up like a douche. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God! <laughs> of course, this three-fourths EGOT winning actor won't be at the big event coming up next month. There's a team of hosts, but we all know who really calls the shots, and they hate each other. Well, that's fun. Mm. So it's not the Tonys? It's not the Tonys. <laughs> Of course, this three-fourths EGOT winner actor won't be coming to the big event next month. There's a team of hosts, but we all know who's really calling the shots, and those two hate each other. What's coming up next month? Yep. Oh, it's not the you... Oscars. It's not the Tonys. Is it one of the EGOTs? The Farmer's Market is not one of the EGOTs. No. Oh, God. 
And then you end up like a douche on a podcast about blind <laughs> items. What uh, did you say, Mike? I'm it's sorry. It's not that. I think it's only a week away. It's like next week, I think. What's happening? Think of our big events each year in the world of entertainment. That's entertainment. Well, award season is Are over. Are we really that? Well, the EGOT, th so the, those are two different parts. So if he is, the actual we're looking for is a three-fourths EGOT winner, but that has nothing to do with the big event. This is not an awards event. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it, yeah, not, not Okay, so event. it's oh, the, the Olympics. There you go. <laughs> the Met Gala. The In Olympics. Paris. So this three-fourths EGOT winning actor won't be coming to the Met Gala okay. next month. There's a team of hosts, and we know who really calls the shots, though, for the Met Gala, Anna. and these two hate each other. Yes, you got Anna. Anna. Wintour. So there you go. Who That's does half. Anna Wintour have a beef with? And is that individual a three-fourths winning, a three-fourths EGOT have a beef? winning actor? Uh, oh. Think of our EGOT near EGOT winners. Oh. Not Kanye. Nope. Okay. Three-fourths. So they're not quite there yet. Yeah. So it's not Whoopi Goldberg. It's nope. like an ego or a got or an igot. It's actually an igot. <laughs> igot. Okay, igot. no Oscar. No Egg. Oscar. Okay, so this is they a are singer. a Tony winner and a Patty Grammy LaPone. winner. Patti LaPone. And an Emmy winner, actor. It's not Patty LaPone. No. I mean, she's just angry at everyone. Remember any recent stories about Anna Wintour and maybe feuding? And I don't should say shouldn't say recent. I think this was like last year. Anna, mm. I do I do remember this in a way that I don't. Okay. <laughs> Because you can't remember. Because I can't pull the name out of my <laughs> keister, but I do have a vague memory. Of course, this three-fourths EGOT winning actor won't be coming to the Met Gala next month. There's a huge team of hosts, but we know who really calls the shots. That's Anna Wintour, and those two can't stand each other. Is this person at, like, the height of their career? Um, I wouldn't say that. Emmy, Grammy, Tony. Emmy, Grammy, Tony, yeah. Is their name Tony either first. Emmy? No. Are they a Grammy? And do they know a guy named Tony? Their name Hi, actually. Hi, Grammy, Amy, and my husband's name is Tony. The name actually fits. We have a kid named the, Oscar. No, the name actually fits with the three you mentioned. What? Yeah. I know that Bruce Willis's wife is Emmy. No, 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 no. It doesn't. Oh. It doesn't match them. It just fits. It's got the same style. It ends with a Y. Oh. Like Casey Musgraves. Like Casey, or like. <laughs> In the sunshine, a like a really, Dickie. like a really common name, but then you throw a Y. Sandy, at the end. no. Jane. This is a terrible way to get Johnny. this. Johnny, Emily. Yeah. Think of our, think of our near ego winners. Think of I... a Tony winner slash Grammy slash. Okay, Emmy. That. That. Go on, just sound it out. Shammy. Shammy. Stage performer. Shammy. Her latest album was amazing. <laughs> Wow, oh. that chamois. <laughs> Stage performer, but also somebody who might have some sort of a beef with Anna Wintour because maybe of fashion. Oh. Yeah. Maybe a fashion beef. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, Don. Yeah. Kim Kardashian? No, she's a Grammy Emmy, Tony. I don't know, you know? No, Say I'm it. just saying, oh. come on, we can do it. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage us to get I it. I know. I just, I'm thinking of stage and Okay, so somebody operas. who would be like, I'm kind of not here for Anna. And I'd like to sing about it. And I think one of the most iconic looks this individual had at the Met Gala was this gigantic yellow. Lady? No, it's an actor. J-Lo. Uh, gigantic yellow, like, dress thing. And it had, like, wings. Rihanna. Uh, Bjork. It's an actor. Oh, a boy. It had wings. Oh, It's oh, a boy? Oh, 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 oh. It's a man? Oh, 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 oh. What? Does he Can... do pose? What's that guy? Oh. You know. Yes, he does pose. Yes. Yes. You know. Oh, yeah. Yes. Name? Yes. He's I didn't know they were flouncy. beefing. Oh, yes. Um, What's his name? Um. Yes, it is. Oh, honey, come to me. He's super, super talented. But he B can. BP. Billy Porter. <laughs> you guys got there. I don't know how, but you, you got there. <laughs> oh uh, according to the blind item, yes, of course, Billy Porter won't be coming to the big event next month. There's a team of hosts, and we all know who's really calling the shots. So that's Anna Wintour, and those two hate each other again. That is according right to the now. blind items. There was all that. Um, remember the Harry Styles a drama last year when he was featured on the cover, Harry Styles? And it yeah. was very much about like 
this man it's a conversation oh, it's yeah, a good conversation. conversation yes yeah, mike like, thank yeah. you You're... so much for finally dragging that blind item out it. of us Don, kudos to us and uh we're your favorite douchebags on a podcast download like and subscribe to your heart's content uh tell all your friends about it mm-hmm. and make sure you subscribe on the youtube because we're there too you can see our beautiful faces on blinded, blinded by the item bye, bye. Blinded by the item, item, item.